Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. Ryan, what do we have going on today? All right, guys. We are back doing some more Mitch Hedberg. It has been a while. I think we did Mitch a um, long time ago. A long time ago. Probably like eight or nine months ago. It was the early days of yeah. uh, Two Neighbors. And Mitch Hedberg, um, may he rest in peace. So many great comedians have passed on, but Mitch Hedberg. Drugs. Yeah, but Mitch Hedberg, that was that was his demon. He, yep. he did, uh, he liked the drugs. Chris, um, Chris Farley. You could tell watching, like pretty much every Mitch Hedberg I've seen, he looks high. I mean, he just, he comes yeah. across as being high during it. Um, but excited to do go back and do some Mitch Hedberg. Um, I, I'll be honest, I saw the first 30 seconds of this because okay. I'm going to find Mitch Hedberg that I haven't seen. Okay. Um, and it's hard because he passed away and it's like, you know, there's no new stuff. Yep. I watched the first 30 seconds, I'm like, I haven't seen this, so stopped it, All right. put it in the bank, and uh, this isn't a request, this is a my right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we get to do our own. Yeah. But <laughs> if you do have a request, do hashtag my request with the URL link down below and we will try to do that video. Um, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel of Two Neighbors. We really do appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on that bell for notifications because we put out videos every single day. Uh, and last but not least, OKSwag.com is our sponsor if you want some cool Canadian swag. They also have stuff for our uh, you know, Canadians living in America, uh, USA. Uh, check out OKSwag.com, punch in two neighbors in the coupon code at checkout and you'll receive 20% off plus free shipping and pay no tax. Let's do Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. Another, Louis. another great comedian is past too. Hey. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, isn't he? You guys let us know in the comment section. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna have to check this one. <laughs> Thank you. How, how, all right. I was gonna say how's everybody, but then I refrained. <laughs> Did uh, um, anyone see me in a Letterman show? No. All right. <laughs> all right. I know, like, four million people watch that show, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> I cannot locate them. <laughs> but I believe that, you know, that's my dream introduction right there, you know. You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I, I believe more people have seen me at the store. <laughs> you know? and, and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. <laughs> and people would say, hell yes, I have. <laughs> He likes kiwi fruit. Kiwi. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like kiwi at first because I thought it was like watermelon. I thought you had to spit out the seeds. <laughs> yeah. I, that, was, that was a risk doing that joke. <laughs> this jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Only, all right, here we go. Here we go, I'm ready to go to the bar. Hey, I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. It's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, and impale it, and then rotate it. And I'll be damned if I'm not hungry. Because spitting chicken carcasses make my mouth water. I like dizzy chicken <laughs> with some mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't you can't please all the people all the time. And last night all those people came to my show. <laughs> I have watermelon in my teeth, I feel like I got free watermelon in the bag, and I've been overindulging. I opened up a yogurt, and underneath the lid, it said, please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of, but I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. <laughs> or maybe, maybe your play was trying to inspire me. Come on, Mitch, don't give up. Please try again. <laughs> A message of inspiration from your friends at Yo Play. Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. 
<laughs> He's so high. He's like, he is so high. Yeah. Like, I clenched jaw like uh, like. <laughs> I'm so unanimated once the cameras are rolling. <laughs> At the wrong time to be unanimated, I would say. Alright. I can't wait till this set's over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I understand it, but... <laughs> You know, if I made an orange juice, I wouldn't be so hardcore on people. I would be more polite. Like, I would not print shake well on the carton because you don't know how good people can shake, you know? I would write, shake to the best of your ability. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a diagram that shows the uninitiated how to shake. All right, put it over here. Then put it over here. Then put it over here quicker. <laughs> Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very exciting town. And, uh, I work at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, there's four comedians on the bill, and we all had similar hair because we were all using the Riviera in-house shampoo. <laughs> it was two-in-one shampoo. Two-in-one is not a good term because it's it's not real because. One is not big enough to hold two. That's why two is created. <laughs> if it was two and one, it would be overflowing. <laughs> I like to play blackjack, it's my favorite game. And my friend is a blackjack dealer and on his forearm he has a tattoo of an ace and a jack. See, I'm a blackjack player. On my forearm, I'm gonna get a tattoo of a 10 and a two. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe later a king. <laughs> I wish 12 was a game in Las Vegas. All right. I basically said the joke again. <laughs> I get up in the morning and I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal. And then I don't do anything for an hour. <laughs> Which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. <laughs> I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> I work at this club in Nashville and uh, it's a you know five night a week club or something. Uh, I wasn't getting very many laughs, so the club owner took me aside. He said, "Mitch, you know you're not getting a lot of laughs. You're gonna have to vacuum." He made me vacuum the club. <laughs> vacuum. So I told the next guy, "Hey, y'all gotta start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop anything." <laughs> <laughs> it's one or the other. <laughs> were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. <laughs> 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 some com some comedy clubs they, they hand out comment cards and those are rude. I don't like those. You know? Like I pretend this is one here. Like people fill it out. You know, there's a name and address, and there's a line that says comments, and and people write down what they thought of the show. And sometimes people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> like some I read something that said Mitch sucks. Then you look up above, it has their name and address. <laughs> That's right, I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo. That is quite a talent to be able to find the humor in the weirdest things and the oddest places, and that's exactly what he does yeah. best, I think. You keep talking. I gotta find out. Both oh, both here we're gonna Louis. find out. All right, Louie. Hey, Okay, if I misspoke about that, <laughs> place your bets on. now, ladies and gentlemen. Louis, what's his last name? Anderson. Anderson. Shit, he's still alive. He's alive! Yes! 
the first picture comes up is him as a woman. Okay, he, he looks. Yeah, no, he's, he's um, like a working actor. He looks I, worse for wear. I pray to God, days. like no like relatives or friends of Louis Anderson watch this. They're like, wait, what? Don't worry, Louis. What? I had your back. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I like Louis Anderson. Apparently, he's still oh, alive. Yeah, me too. Remember Anderson. Life with Louis as a yeah. kid growing up? Oh yeah, I watched that show. And, we had, and he was the host of Family Feud too. Oh yeah, I mean, who hasn't been the host of Family Feud? I know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steve Harvey. Tune in next week Louis where we're gonna host the Family Feud. <laughs> did we do a reaction to the Family Feud? Yeah, but we, we didn't host did. it. No, no, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future, who knows? Guys, subscribe to the channel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start a crusade to get us to host it. Is Family Feud still on the air even? I think so. Okay, good. Well, we, we, hey, we have a Family Feud Canada. Really? We do. Hmm. Canada has a Family Feud. It's probably a lot of like sorrying because they buzzed in before the person before them. Oh, sorry. I sorry, sorry. No, you go ahead. I didn't, oh, no, I didn't oh, know you were trying to buzz in. Yeah, no, we got, we, got, uh, we got one that's filmed here in Toronto. Oh, cool. Yeah, so guys, please, if you have any suggestions of videos that we you think we should do, such as Mitch Hedberg or anybody for that matter, hashtag my request down below with the URL link and we will do our best to try and get to that video uh, we get lots of requests so please be patient with us uh, but we are getting to them send us more Mitch Hedberg and we'll speed track you <laughs> <laughs> but it's gotta be really good yeah um, yeah and don't forget to check out okanswag.com and punch the two neighbors you'll get 20% off plus free shipping and pay no tax Ryan, what should these lovely people do? Like, share, and subscribe, guys. It helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. We will see you next time. Later, guys.